Most people in America are familiar that we currently have a change of administration, a new government, a new leader, a new president. And that is the same thing that happens a lot of times in any company or publicly traded corporation. That sometimes presidents move on to new jobs because they have a standard of living or a time management consideration that they want to handle. And so they simply move on. Some of them, of course, may be fired for lack of performance or underproductivity or not doing a good job for the shareholders. But what we know about those situations, nine times out of ten, is that that president does not come back again. That that individual's lifeline in that company at that time has been closed and concluded. Now here's the one challenge that we have today as any person at any level of a business or employee network for a company is that we have to understand how do we handle our faith practices with what we do for a living. I am understanding that the Bidens are Catholic and he might possibly have a practice or his wife of praying every day for his presidency and for the things he has to do and say. It's also possible that she might have a rosary bead practice where she goes through the rosary and says all the uh, Hail Mary, Marys, and I don't know enough about that to, to talk about it. And I'm certainly not a, a someone who, who can give you any experience about it. And he might be a person who spends a little time meditating like Jesus Christ did. And that's all I can say. But what I am telling you is that there are some people in the world that just refuse to play ball with God. And what I mean by that is that they hear the Holy Ghost loving and kind, giving them promptings about how God would like them to proceed on something that might be a controversial topic, especially when we're talking about politics, or some sort of tough issue in their business. And a lot of times people don't want to hear it because it is ancillary or opposing to what they believe is correct to do. Now, one of the great CDs by Melanie Rublom, who was a part of the Team in Focus business that I participated in for a very short time, which is a um, of Quickstar Amway lineage long ago when I was literally in my early 20s and living overseas, or maybe just coming back, was this concept of you don't know what you don't know. And the reality for me as a practicing pagan and what my dear friend Claudie calls the pendulum professor and she gave me a name and coined that for me a long time ago and at that time God said no to using it but at this time God is okay with it and is proud of her for doing that that openly we don't know what we don't know but the practice of faith where we assess ourselves not at all where we humble ourselves before whatever pagan lord like Odin or whatever your version of God is and how you choose to name him and her in this world is that we say, okay, God, I understand I have my own opinions, my own thinking, my own brainstorming on this, but I also recognize I'm not as wise as you. So if there's something you want me to do or something you want me to say or something that I'm not getting about this, then I'm asking you today to help me in every way. So should I do this? Should I not do this? And then I'm going to submit to your will, and I'm going to check it a few times to make sure it's not my free will impacting this tool with my own energy and my own wishes that of course angels who love me want to give me but that's not the value of the tool the value of the tool is full submission to god who assigns and authorize our angels to advise us and protect us and guide us